Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com and in this video I'm going to show you 10 more work from home jobs that pay more than normal salary. So I did one a few days ago about this and there's actually a lot more jobs that I want to go over that you could look into if you want to work from home while still making a good income instead of just a very mediocre one. So the first one is um, a nurse type of job where you can work from home uh, remotely. So if you're doing this, you you know you might call it a telephone nurse, you might call it a uh, you know remote nurse, whatever you want to call it. Um, but you can do this and uh, do case management as a nurse. You can work um, in some kind of education role. You can do freelance uh, nursing writing and all kinds of stuff just if you have some sort of nursing degree. Two places that hire for this type of stuff. One is Humana and um, they're a huge you know, healthcare company and Cigna is another one. Both of these actually hire um, remote nurses that do a lot of case management, treatment authorization, patient education, and stuff like that. They get paid very well. You need to have a nursing degree. Some of these hire worldwide. But um, you might look into Humana and Cigna and their websites. I'll have a link to all these websites in the show notes for you for uh, nursing jobs where you can actually work from home. You just get on the phone with people and chat with them and stuff like that. Next is expert consulting. So there's a few places you can go for this, and by expert consulting, I mean you are very, very good at certain things, whether you're uh, very good at you know, managing businesses, whether you're man very good at, you know, let's say you're a very world-renowned lawyer or, or you're retired in a very prestigious field, you can make from around 15 to up to $280 an hour uh, doing this. One website you can check this out is catalent.com and that is at gocatalent.com actually but the name of the company is Catalent and they find uh, you know the best experts for providing solutions for a lot of different problems. If you feel like you're an expert in all kinds, uh, certain types of business needs and stuff like that. You can sign up in the top right here and put that you are. I am an individual expert looking to provide ex expertise to businesses. So a lot of businesses have big budgets, but they just need somebody who can help them with specific problems to get to the next level. That's where you could come in. Another place where you can sell your um, services as an expert is justanswer.com this is kind of like Quora or Yahoo Answers if you've ever used one of those sites where you answer questions except the difference is Just Answer gets you paid for answering these questions and you're really more of a professional uh, actually answering the questions so if you're a lawyer you're a very good mechanic you're a very good doctor um, maybe you're retired in those areas whatever you can give answers in these areas make some good money and um, actually help a lot of people just working from home with your computer so just answer is another great one for that another thing you could do is be a personal stylist from home so this is something a lot of people don't think of uh, something that could be very helpful I could probably use my own personal stylist to be honest but um, a personal stylist is somebody who obviously loves fashion and would like to help people in that area. Now, if you're going to be a personal stylist and you're going to have like a few select clients, you might have your own website. I have a page on selfmadesuccess.com that teaches you how to create a WordPress blog very quickly. That way you can put all your business information um and location or just do it all online you do video chat do all that stuff on your own website through wordpress you can customize it how you want and it'll be cheap and 
um, very professional. So WordPress is what I recommend. You could also try another website builder like Wix or something, but um, I have that available to you if you want to start your own website for stylist or for something else that you may want to do. But as far as being a personal stylist, you can make around $15 per hour doing this, which is pretty good, way over you know, uh, minimum wage. And uh, there's a great article that would really explain this better than I ever could, but it's on the pennyhoarder.com. It talks about how to make money as a personal stylist from home. It talks about different websites that you could look at, you know, you look of like Bombfell, you look at Stitch Fix and some of these different websites that have been successful doing this. Um, and you can help different people, men or women, um, figure out, you know, what they should wear, how to, you know, group different wardrobes together and stuff like that. So I'll have this article linked to in the show notes for you. And like I said, you may want to start even your own blog if you want to do this, or you might be able to find a job with somebody like uh, Bombfell or Stitch Fix or something like that. Next is a social media manager. And obviously social media is a big part of today's traffic. A lot of people get their news from social media. A lot of people keep up with their friends and family on social media. A lot of people you know, meet people on social media and find things to buy from social media ads. So it's a very big thing that, you know, each company could have just a social media manager working full time only on that. So imagine how many millions of companies out there could use a good social media manager. You could even have multiple clients if you want to be a self employed social media manager. But two places if you're looking for jobs in this area, um, Buffer is a great one. They don't even require you to work at a home office. You can literally work in coffee shops traveling around the world as long as you get your work done. Uh, Buffer is a very laid back company. They have a social media automation tool. The Buffer app, you've probably tried it or probably at least heard of it or seen their logo before. Um, it's a great tool. I've used it before and you can work for them and be with a very laid back company. Lots of perks and benefits and stuff like that. Um, they currently don't have job openings as of me making this video, but by the time you watch it, they may have some. Or you can just check back every once in a while because this is probably one of the better social media companies to work for. Next is Meet Edgar. Meet Edgar is like Buffer or a Hootsuite where you automate social media and you organize it better to be more productive. They have 100% remote jobs. You work only during work hours. And um, they're, they seem like a very good company to work for. You can look at their jobs at meetedgar.com slash careers. They have some marketing jobs. You know, you might look at operations, customer experience, development, and uh, see just kind of what they have. So they also have an employee handbook you can check out to help you be more likely to um, succeed with their team. So. You can check them out and see what careers that they have available. Next is a short task worker, which basically means you do micro tasking and you help with, you know, maybe you evaluate some things on a search engine, like how good the ads are for the search results, how relative they are. You might do some, you know, um, data entry type work where you organize some things or you work in Microsoft Excel or on some things or something like that. Um, watching certain videos, uh, taking surveys to review websites, stuff like that. So um, a few different websites that pay you as a short task worker or a small task worker, however you want to say it. Um, one is Amazon Mechanical Turk. You can go to mturk.com to see what they have available and um, get started there as a worker. You can see more about them, what kind of stuff that they do, uh, tagging, you know, looking for duplicate content and business listings, verifying restaurant details, uh, dealing with data, all kinds of stuff. So you can go to mturk.com. This is an Amazon company. You could actually work with them and 
get these things done. You can kind of work on your own time. Another one is micro workers, which is a lot of data entry type stuff. Um, you can do, you know, they have inquiries, they have tagging. It's a lot of the same stuff as like MTurk does, uh, mobile application testing, all kinds of stuff. So you can work for a couple of uh, places like that and you're actually um, technically like a freelancer where you um, work on your own hours you work when you want how much is as much as you want another one is a repairer so a lot of people um, have great skills where you can work from home repairing stuff maybe you just are a handyman or a woman and you just know how to fix bicycles, cars, whether it's computers or whatever, and people can like bring them to you and you can repair them. Um, and if you want to do something like that, there's a few websites I would uh, recommend. One of them is TaskRabbit. It's probably one of your best options for selling your services, just fixing things for people. Um, people are always looking for people to do their grocery shopping for them, run errands for them, fix something for them, you know, and stuff like that. And typically these people are very close by. So you can work with them and it's all through an app. Everything's taken care of through that. Or you could also try something like uh, Tackle, T-A-K-L dot com. You can check it out. They have an app as well for both um, Android and Apple devices. It's also for things like cleaning, handyman work, um, you know, fixing a boat or whatever. So um, those are two that you might check out as far as just handy work, working from home, doing that, where you can get everything, the transaction, the messaging back and forth, the payment, all of that through the app is taken care of. Another thing you could do is be a renter. Now you can rent... Um, your spare bedroom you can rent your house when you're on vacation you know maybe you have a cabin or a lake house or something that you don't primarily live in and you could rent that out so that's a great way to make some extra money a lot of uh, websites are coming up for things like this now most of them for more like vacations and stuff but some of them you can actually do like a full-time thing um, one is Airbnb you can do um, things where you can rent out your spare room, you can rent out your pool house, you can rent out your RV, you can rent out your, you know, your cabin, whatever. Um, and you can get paid pretty well. A lot of people make very good money doing this. And another one that you could do this with is like Craigslist. If you want something more permanent, um, something where people can uh, rent out a room, maybe, and uh, just kind of minimize expenses then you could do like rooms wanted or rooms slash shared under housing in craigslist just make sure you do like background checks and stuff like that make sure they're um you know good people but um yeah craigslist and airbnb would be two great ways to do that just making an extra income from extra space that you already have Another thing you could do is be a virtual realtor. So we all know real estate is uh, usually a pretty good business to be in, but there's a lot of competition. And, you know, sometimes you meet with people and uh, bad things can happen. If you uh, don't know enough about the clients you're meeting with and, um, you know, you're just a lone realtor meeting them in some um, vacant house. But... A virtual realtor actually can do tours without even leaving the office. So if you want to do uh, tours using drones, using virtual reality, virt using computers and stuff like that, then you can be a virtual realtor um, and use different types of software to help with this. You know, you can also use your phone to take videos through the house you can do a lot of different things. But there are a few companies that actually do this. One is imagineahome.com, and you can go there, maybe get a job working with them, or use their um, tech, same type of technology for your own business. But you can see they uh, they do, you know, work with um, over the front and the exterior of the house as well as the land 
different views. You can also do, um, you know, tours and go inside the house and things like that. Another one is Start VR, and that is at startvr.co. They specialize more in actual virtual reality and doing tours through stuff like that. Now, you can use it for real estate. You might use it for other things, but um, they do all kinds of stuff like that where you can do real estate and things like that. So jobs, try different types of technology, learn from how they do it, and um, you can apply it to real estate. Next is programming, and programming, of course, is still very much in demand. It's a very valuable skill. Um, learning a programming language like Ruby, for instance, or Ruby using Ruby on Rails, um, you can make around $61 per hour working from home just with a computer and an internet connection. So a few places I would recommend if you are into programming, you are pretty good at it. Um, one would be automatic that is spelled with two t's automatic.com is behind wordpress they're behind things like woocommerce and stuff like that and they allow you to work from home doing all kinds of code javascript you know um, you might do some css you might do some other types of code as well but you might work a lot on websites and things like that Another thing you can do is GitLab, and they do all kinds of software development. And um, if you feel like that is a good fit for you, you could go to gitlab.com and look at some of their jobs. I'll have a link to their page for you. But they are a company that's all about software and making things easier for companies. So you can go to gitlab.com. Programming is one of the best things you can do as far as um, a skill for the future. And if you want to learn, there's actually an app called Solo Learn that you might look at for your phone, whatever phone you have. And it is very good for teaching you different programming languages if you want to learn a new one for free. So that is Solo Learn. You can look that up in whatever app store you use. And last but not least, you can make money pretty good these days as a photographer. You don't have to be a big time professional with a big background or a following. You can make money from simple apps as a photographer these days and get paid very well. Fope is one where if you um, you know just upload a decent amount of photos consistently, each one will make you like five dollars per download and each photo can be downloaded an unlimited number of times so this is a um, you know a app that you can get for free and they also have you know other missions as well they're looking for s certain images they can use in ads and stuff and they'll do like a hundred dollar rewards and stuff so that's on top of you selling the uh, photos uh, per download. So you can do all of that just with FOPE. You can get the app for your Android or Apple device. Another one is Class Shot. You can get it for Apple or Android as well. And you can sell it for however much you want to sell it as long as it's between $0.50 cents and $80. And you can upload these photos with FOPE or Class Shot directly from your phone. So everything is taken care of on your mobile phone. And then it goes through their partners and they help you get it sold. So you can sell all kinds of photos literally just from your phone that you would already be taking anyway, whether it's uh, you know scenery on vacation or you and your friends and family, whatever. Um, and you can sell those on either one of those apps. So that's it for this video. If you feel like it was helpful, please like and subscribe so I can create more videos like this for you. Also, if you want to let me know what you thought about the video, if you want to let me know about something you'd like me to cover in the future, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And I'll also get a um, link in the description of the video to the show notes page where I have all the links and related content that I mentioned in this video for your convenience. So other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day.